This is Outward Bound in Anakiwa in the Melbourne Sounds and uh, this is a place where you sort of come uh, for a lot of different reasons. One of my reasons was to challenge myself and uh, see what I was capable of. Are you ready? We had no idea that it couldn't be done and we needed to find a like-minded someone who had no idea that it couldn't be done. No idea. We had no I just heard like heaps of stuff about it and like from people that had already been on it and couldn't really turn down the opportunity to come. It's my graduation present. Just graduated high school, so here I am in the winter time. We're gonna be jumping off the launch over there at lunch. Just the way the instructors like to spice things up. One of our leaders yep. was saying you can be cold and wet and miserable, but you can just be cold and wet. Uh, you just you just do heaps of activities, um, a couple of good like team challenges, and it's just really sort of physical and getting into the outdoors and having a great time. We're practicing on the low ropes course that we've got here, and um, I think we're going to make our way to the bigger stuff. <laughs> I'm really amped. I've been excited about this for the whole time we've been here. I'm quite shy around new people, so I wouldn't really just sort of start talking to random people, but you kind of just throw it in a situation you have to, so it's been good. I wanted to do it just because oh, it would be a good experience for me and I know people have done it and they were changed by it. Today we have been doing high ropes. I look up at it and be like, oh, it's not, not too bad. But as soon as I get up there I freak out. I'm like, oh my gosh, can't do this, can't keep going. But just all the support around mainly, that's what kind of got me through. From tree to tree I just stood there. The gap appeared to get bigger and bigger and I was like, no. <laughs> This is all in the mind, I mean, the one phrase I always remember is mind over matter, what matters is the mind. Just being positive about it and getting it done. The instructors that have taken us on the course, they've been awesome, they're a whole lot of fun and the encouragement that they give during all the challenges is great. Oh, they're always saying, oh, there's more in you, there's more in you. Went to school in Auckland, just started, and one of the teachers asked me if I wanted to go on a trip. And then she said um, I was uh, out, and then she didn't finish the sentence, and I just said, yeah. It was funny. <laughs> uh, a few of my friends had done it, as well as my dad, way back in the day, and I love the outdoors, so I, I knew it was for me. That was so epic. <laughs> At about the end of the first week of the course, we did a solo, which meant we were out in the bush for two nights. Find your campsite and set up. And there's all the wickers and that come around and hang out with you. It's quite fun. Our challenge was huge and we had to run around the Queen Charlotte Walk and um, roads around the back of Anakiwa. We love Outward Bound! Woo! Hey! I finished with two of my other watchmates and it was the best feeling ever. I'm so buzzing. No, I think the most I run like at home is about 6k, so <laughs> yeah, big difference. It's been good, it's just like proving to yourself that you can do stuff and everything and just, yeah, think motivated. Yeah, it's been great, I've pushed myself, I've learned so much here, so I'll do it again. You make a whole lot of mates, uh, great fun and they just push you here. Yeah great skills you can take in the real world. It's a time for you to find out a bit about yourself, uh, meet some awesome new people, 
and um, have a lot of fun and be pushed out of your comfort zone. Just to know that um, there's more in me and I can do what, any task that's been set out there. They say the, the real challenge is when you leave, applying it into your own world. Um, so I, I really want to see how that goes. There are so many things here that I thought I'd never do in a million years. For example, standing here being captain of a cutter. But you know, never say never. It's been an amazing journey, it really has.